I never wanted to admit that I was hard of hearing. A few years ago, my wife and I came to Florida with some couples, and we had a terrific time. One evening we sat down, had a meal. Somebody brought wine. We all had wine with our meal. Afterwards, we went to our rooms to get ready to go out for the evening. My wife was ready ahead of me for a change. She's watching a movie on television, turns to me and says, you know, I never cared for wine with my meal. I said, okay, next time, order coffee or tea. She said, what are you talking about? I'm watching a movie. All I said was, I never cared for Ryan O'Neill. <laughs> She said, now go out and get a hearing aid. Well, I'm a veteran. I could take orders. I'm also a husband. I could take orders. So, and I'm a veteran. So thank God for the VA. I went to the VA. They fixed me up with a set of hearing aids. But I couldn't get used to them. So I went back to the doc. I said, doctor, check me out. He said, I can't hear. He checked me out. He said, no wonder you can't hear. He said, you got a suppository stuck in your ear. I said, now I know where my hearing is. <laughs> but it's rough, you know, when you... But when you're getting old, it's rough. Now, I wear hearing aids, but half the people in this room should be wearing hearing aids. But they won't. Now, I golf with three fellas, came here. At the end. We were on the golf course the other day. One guy came out, he said to the other guy, it's windy. The other guy said, no, it's Thursday. <laughs> the other guy said, me too, let's go for a beer. <laughs> and they left me there washing my balls. What are you going to do? This is what happens when you get older. Whoa. But I love the villages because everybody's unpretentious. We laugh with each other, not at each other. I remember when I first got here, I was driving along 441. And there was a couple in front of me very, going very slow. So I pulled up alongside the fellow. I said, you're going too slow. The guy rolled down his window. He said, what? I said, you're going too slow. He turned to his wife. He said, what did he say? His wife said, he said it's going to snow. <laughs> so now he's going 10 miles an hour. He puts on a windshield wipe. <laughs> I said, what am I going to do? So I pull up alongside and says, why are you going so slow? He looked at me and said, didn't you hear it's going to snow? <laughs> So I finally said, have a nice day. He said, yeah, maybe I should get a sleep. <laughs> this is what happened. You know, in the villages here, I love to play golf. And I play with two other fellas. One fella can't hear, that's me. Another fella can't see. And the other fella had a hip operation.